Okay, Rick. I'm just dutiful. Ah! Hey, welcome back to our stupid directs and it's Corbin. I'm Rick. Can you call us on Instagram? It's so juicy. Thank you for the support of Patreon. I was just counting the notification squad. Also on personal YouTube channels, you little hellions. Oh, sorry. Oh, yeah, are we doing anything today? Uh, sorry, I, I was just lost in thought. Uh, today we reacted to a trailer. It's called 13B. Fear has a new address. Oh, yeah. Yeah, your mom lives there. Yeah, she does. Say these names. R. Madhavan and Neetu Chandra. It's a Hindi film. It's old. It's an older film, I okay. believe. Um, a TV serial begins to become uncomfortably important in the couple's life. Monohar moves into a new flat with his wife, Priya. While watching a new TV serial, Monohar realizes that the serial is about their lives. Do -do 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 -do. Things go from bad to worse when the serial begins to govern the fate of his family. Cool. Uh, the reason we're doing this right now, uh, October's coming up, up, and I want to watch a bunch of Halloween. Spooky. spooky. Uh, and it's a spooky people, time of year. Some people don't understand what we mean by that, because a lot of Halloween movies in America aren't necessarily that scary. Uh, Beetlejuice, uh, you know, um, Nightmare Before Christmas, uh, Hocus Pocus, which is a Disney film. Right. So a lot of them aren't like, that. obviously some people do like to watch really, really scary films as well. Uh, so that's a thing. But I kind of want to make October like a spooky month. And it used to be that in September you'd start to see the trailers for the scary movies that were coming out at Halloween. Yeah. And then they started to just release them all over the place at different times. Yeah. And, but yeah, uh, we want to see spooky stuff. So let us know down below. Uh, I've heard of a few, obviously. Gaon is high up there with mm -hmm. them, and by yep. Pizza, which I believe is a Tamil film. Uh, go, go, gone. Yeah, which, we're gonna get to that. Once again, we know it's not horror, we know it's comedy with uh, zombies. Right, but that, that counts. Fits. That fits. That fits, just like Young Frankenstein fits just, as a Halloween movie. Just like Stree would have fit. Exactly. Here we go. Tumbad would have fit. Yeah. It's a big, broad thing. Here we go. Whoa, this is like the raw trailer. I mean, it's, it was scary enough to were like, okay, this is going to be nice jumps and it's going to be all that kind of stuff, but right. it also didn't give away exactly what was going on. Not at all. I would have never you, picked up what we read. Which, obviously, you don't want to give away a horror film. I mean, you don't want to give away any film, especially, like, horror. Yeah, <laughs> because, I mean, you could give away the idea. I was expecting to see them sitting in front of a TV and it mirroring their life in some way, but we got a non-linear... That's very... That's very um, uh, what's it? Not, uh, no, uh, Twilight Zone esque. The concept is 100% Twilight, Twilight Very Zone. Rod Serling. Uh, the original Twilight Zone series. Um, 
which is a great series. If yeah. You're... If you've not seen The Twilight Zone, the original Twilight Zone hosted and written by Rod Serling, you really should. Because his concepts were spectacular. Especially for the time. Yes. Oh, it was insane. Just spectacular. Anyways, this yeah, it looks really good. Uh, obviously, it's an old... It's 2009, but it look, it's, yeah. looked almost 90s yep. uh, in terms of the style. But I've heard a lot about it in terms of, like, because I've asked on Twitter, Patreon, and now I even put a, a, up on the community page on YouTube asking for recommendations yeah. for, for, for Halloween so we can watch some spooky, spooky. scary yeah. scary films. Yeah. Kind of like a theme month. We haven't done one of those. No, and in October deserves it. And because uh, also, y'all guys don't really have Christmas movies. Yeah. <laughs> there are people that celebrate Christmas, but it's obviously not the majority of people. Yeah. That, um, they Not enough to create big big budget movies, at least that we know of. They have, obviously, Diwali and, and, and Holy are the two big release. Because, obviously, Christmas is a huge release time here. Uh, Massive. For, for, for family movies or just big movies in general. It's summertime and from Thanksgiving to Christmas, those are the big money makers for the movie theaters. Oh, well, they used to be it. Yeah, well, this year all bets are off. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so uh, if this is uh, good and, and worth a watch, please let us know. We will watch it come October. Uh, what was the one that we should, that we wanted to watch? Oh, the Assam one. That would have been a good Halloween one too. That would be. Even though it's Amis. not really, it's kind of just, it's a creepy concept. It's not really Halloween-esque. Oh, I'll, yeah. But it's, it is creepy. I sure. It is. I thought of one, but it's not It's not Indian. Um, what? The Platform. Oh, yeah, you just watched Spain. The Platform, yeah. <sighs> What's a spooky one? It's both creepy, mm -hmm. but brilliant. Yeah? Yeah. It's very disturbing. Don't eat when you're watching it. Oh, really? Yeah. And, but it is, it's a metaphor for capitalism and social strata. Oh, nice. It's super smart. It's real... Similar to like um, a parasite in terms of the political, uh, yeah, like the, great comparison the, to the cast. Yes, yeah. in a completely different approach. Different approach. Yeah. yeah, it's pure metaphor. Yeah, yeah, but it's a really good. You could. It's funny as I watched it, I wasn't thinking of it as horror, but you could put it in that category yeah. for sure. Uh, and I, this looks like it absolutely fits the criteria. It looks like it's scary. Yeah, so we're gonna watch a bunch of scary films come October. Start voting, people. Yeah, so it's just, uh, well, we're probably watching Go Go Gone for sure. That's gotta well, no, it'd be there. It's a comedy, obviously. We, we reacted to the trailer like April of 2019. Yeah, it, it's been a while. Yeah. Um, but, and then probably Gone as well, just because Manoj Bajpayee and it's that director as well. Why do I feel I like- I think he actually has multiple, um, what's his name? Um, the director of Satya. Uh, uh, um, the, he has the initials. Right. No. But anyway, Sharma. I think he has others that are called Raz or uh, I don't know. I, I, I know he's he was obviously a pretty revolutionary director. I think he did a lot of like horror style, thriller horror style. Yeah. And obviously, as well as gangster, uh, he kind of revolutionized. Why am I thinking at the same time we when we reacted to Go Go Gone, we also in that ballpark reacted to the trailer for Tumbad and for Street, right? Mm -hmm. Why do I feel like there was another one that was in that grouping that we would yet to see in addition to Go Go Gone that was considered a, a horror a, or a thriller? What was the one, maybe it's just because it's a thriller, what was the one with Amir Khan playing the cop with the mustache? That's Talash. That's a thriller. That's not horror, yeah, right? I don't, I don't think it's Halloween stuff. Okay. When we will get to that, you know, because you know it's been recommended, especially for Amir's next film. Yeah. Uh, whenever we, whenever we get to it. But yeah, a good monster movie. I don't think they have a lot of monster movies for sure. Really should. Yeah, because like like I said, um, sci-fi and horror are the two that I've been told. Not it's not my opinion because I haven't really watched any of them. Um, they haven't really mastered and got a great great one yet. Yeah. Um, they've had a, a bunch of good ones, and but they're not. They're not our side of Halloween because they don't really celebrate Halloween. Right. Well, not too many people, no. I guess, in India. And we're not even trick-or-treating here this year. Did you hear that? They announced it. Oh, that's... What a, what a shock. I know, but the mayor actually announced it. They were like, no, there's no... No trick-or-treating? Trick-or-treating. There'll uh -huh. probably still be some. Yeah. It's sad. It's a sad year, guys. It is. <laughs> As um, you all know. Come on, 2021. <laughs> we're ready for you. In a big way. Da din din da din din da da din din 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 da din